Hello, uh, my name is Duncan. Uh, some people in our group call me Zach. Um, today is an exciting day. Um, we are in Tika. <laughs> so we are in Tika to meet one special nurse. I don't want to introduce her. I'll give her a, a moment or a chance to introduce herself. Um, what we've been doing at uh, DMRC, that is Diabetes Management Resource Center, for the ca past couple of weeks, uh, we went out and asked our members uh, in our community, in our platform, that is on Facebook, on WhatsApp. We asked them that are in line with the theme of World Diabetes Day, uh, which is the role of the nurse in the care and management of uh, diabetes and treatment. We asked them to give us, sort of like to nominate the names of nurses who go over and above what they are expected to do in their day-to-day -day, uh, uh, duties or, and roles uh, as nurses uh, to nominate like a few names. People who have been ex excellent in, in offering um, in the diabetes care. So we received a couple of names, um, ab about five names who are very consistent. So today we have come to Tika to meet one of the amazing nurses as well. So uh, let me uh, ask my cameraman to now uh, pan the camera to introduce our guest. How are you? I'm good. All right. Yes. What are your names? My name is Joyce Mbugwa. Yes. Uh, I'm a registered nurse and I work here at the Tika Level 5 Hospital. I'm also a diabetic nurse educator. Yes, I have a lot of interests on oh. issues concerning diabetes. All right. Yes. Thanks, Joyce. Mm. Um, I, I saw a couple of emails, so many emails, and uh, I mean, people talking about giving fast and testimonies on how they have been assisted from having stubborn wounds, uh, from having coming to a place where they were in denial when they were sort of like diagnosed, from having to talk about so many things like not even knowing what diet to eat and some of them really said so many positive things about you so we want to thank you for that okay. um so who, who is joyce maybe you can give us a little bit of your history you know your background where did you grow up and how did you end up in nursing and uh, eventually how did you end up here in tika okay uh, i'm joyce i i live here in tika i've actually settled here in tika i grew up in Eldoret. Okay. And uh, later on, we had to move to, 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 to Nyahururu, that is where my parents were, but unfortunately they are all late. Uh, I've, I've walked a journey whereby I have had relatives who have been diabetics. My mom was one of them. She actually died of uh, di diabetic complications. And I think that is where I got the interest of uh, taking care of diabetic patients. Uh, we really had a, a painful journey, let me say, because uh, she started getting sick immediately. My dad just passed on, he got a heart attack. Mm -hmm. And then immediately my father passed on, she, she developed. I, I, I don't know whether she had a pre-existing uh, diabetes, mm -hmm. but we didn't know. Now immediately after is when he realized that she was, she was really growing thin, so we, 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 we took her to hospital and she was diagnosed with high BP and also the sugars were above 30. So from there it was a hard journey until she passed on. Were you a nurse then? I was a nurse okay. and uh, it was not easy. Being a nurse you would expect things to yes. just be simple. So yes. you can imagine someone who has no medical background yes. And taking care of such a, a person patient. Who is diabetic. Yes. So it was not easy for me, mm. and so I felt for those people who have that kind of patients. Mm. And my mother was she she was a bit she didn't she wasn't so much into taking drugs. Okay. So that is why I'm really passionate to make sure that my patients. Uh, take the drugs uh, the way they're supposed to take. Uh, I, I'm also very, I am also very, very uh, into making sure that they know what they are suffering from, yeah. how they are supposed to take care of, of themselves, okay. and all that. Tell me something. Um, when I kept uh, reading the emails and uh, the testimonies from people, mm. there's a facility that kept on coming up before Tika. So maybe was it Gatundu? What were yes. you doing there? And why is it that also it was? I mean, um, wh what did what exactly did you do in Gatundu that uh, like people kept on mentioning you ab ab about it as well? So first of all, let me start my journey. Yes. 
on diabetes, yes. on issues concerning diabetes. We used to have DOPC here in Tika Level 5 Hospital, mm -hmm. and I used to work in outpatient department. So we, DOPC is a diabetic outpatient clinic that was done once a week. Mm -hmm. So our patients would have like 150 patients in a, in a, in a, in a sitting, in a, in, a, in a visit. And these 150 patients, uh, they would queue like five times. Come to, for observations, go to the lab for, 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 for testing sugars, come back again to be seen by the clinician, and then uh, go for, for the drugs. And at the end of the day, we would have like half of the patients on IV fluids, mm -hmm. either because of hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia. Mm -hmm. And I realized that we had a problem, that there's something that we are not doing right. Luckily, in uh, 2010, uh, people from uh, the Ministry of Health, NCD department, they, they called us for a, for a workshop. And in this workshop, we, uh, we were asked to start comprehensive care units for the diabetic patients to okay. reduce the queues okay. and uh, to, to even have more time because we were supposed to run them every day from mm. Monday to Friday. Mm. And uh, we would reduce the queues and also we'd have time to educate our patients. Mm -hmm. So that is what we did. I came back here, talked to the med soup and the nursing services manager, they were so supportive, they really supported me. And I, I started that clinic because we didn't have a room. But the Ministry of Health came in handy. They gave us a container. It was a small mm -hmm. container, it's still there. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so I looked for desks and all that. And I was given a clinician, I was given a, a records officer, I was given a, a nutritionist, and we started. And I want to tell you that the impact was so great because we were able, we really, I, I used to educate every patient that used to come to our clinic because now we started decongesting DOPC mm -hmm. to DCC. Okay. So we would educate each and every patient as they come in, okay. making sure that every patient knew what, they, what was expected of them. And I want to tell you the impact was so great. We were able to reduce um, admissions by around 70%. Wow. We were also able to reduce amputations by almost 40 to 50 percent. Okay. And now that time we had already gone to the counties. So Gatundu had been made a center of excellence for non-communicable diseases. Mm. So the person who was the nursing services manager here in Tika Level 5, Mrs. Mborogami, unfortunately she's late, uh, she requested me to go there and open an NCD center. And I accepted, I went there. I started a whole NCD center. It was a bit challenging because, you know, with the, <coughs> with the shortages, yeah. staff shortages, yes. uh, people felt now we have someone else who has been added into our, 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 our services. Mm. But now they were not happy because I'd come to open another department and mm. they felt like their issue was not being addressed. Yeah. So they, they didn't really embrace it so much at first. Yeah. But uh, again, I met very good people. I met the nursing services manager, who is now the director of nursing services here at Kiambu County. Okay. And uh, the, the, the chief of health, who okay. was the med soup by then, there, okay. uh, was, the, was, was the med soup. So they really encouraged me. Mm. And also the physician who was there, Dr. Irago, she was really supportive. They really supported me. They even gave me people to work with. And we started, we were given a big place. And we even had beds to resuscitate our patients just in case of any, any problems. Okay. And uh, it, was, it, it really also brought a very big impact. Wow. At the end of the day, there were no diabetic patients in the wards. Okay. There were no uh, amputations being done. Okay. And people really embraced it. Uh -huh. So we also had uh, community um, support groups. We had formed so many of them. We actually, in Gatundu, we had four, 15 support groups. 15 support groups? Yeah. Mostly made up of people with type 1 or type 2? Type 2. Type 2. Mostly type 2. Okay. Uh, type 1s, there were not so many in Gatundu, okay. but here we had, we have 130. Here you have 130. Yes. Okay, 